resolved. That critical race theory and intersectionality should only be employed as analytical tools subordinate to Scripture. Only be employed. Only be employed as analytical tools. So you see what's happening. They've cracked the door wide open for these Marxist, anti-biblical uh, t- teachings to spread throughout the church. They're going to spread throughout the SBC. And they're going to spread throughout other uh, denominations. And they already have. Trust me, they already have. But it's just, it, it just gives us some acceptability. This is a Truth Transforms Truth Nugget. A daily dose of truth for your daily transformation. So it is not from above. Uh, then where does it come from, this wisdom? If it's not from above, then where does it come from? Uh, well, God speaks to the writing of James and says that this kind of wisdom uh, that leads to these actions is not the wisdom from above. So it's not from above, so is it from the world? Uh, is it from within? Does it come from below? James answers this question. He says, yes, yes, and yes. He says that this wisdom is earthly, unspiritual demonic. Uh, It is earthly, which means that it comes from the world. It is worldly wisdom. Uh, This is the wisdom of men. This is not biblical wisdom, but it is man's philosophies. The Apostle Paul warned about this too. Uh, He said in Colossians 2.8, writing to the church at Colossae, he said, see to it that no one takes you captive by philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world, and not according to Christ. So he very clearly warns against this. He said it is just according to human tradition. It is the elemental spirits of the world. It is not according to Christ. This worldly wisdom is not the wisdom for Christians to follow. And so you might be thinking, well, then what's an example of worldly wisdom? Well, there are many forms of worldly wisdom. I'll give you a recent example. The Southern Baptist Convention, the largest Christian denomination in America, Uh, Over 47,000 churches just passed a resolution just a few weeks ago. They passed a resolution that deals with critical race theory and intersectionality. This has been something that's been going rampant throughout many churches, not just SBC churches, but I think we better pay attention to another Baptist denomination that believes very similar to us uh, because anything that they do follows through throughout the rest of Christianity, throughout the rest of evangelicalism. Whatever they, whatever they pass has a great impact on the things that are coming our way, and so this is something to pay attention to. So here's what they said. They passed a resolution on, on critical race theory and intersectionality, which, which critical race theory and intersectionality are Marxist ideals. They are Marxist uh, categories of partiality, of Racism, everything turns into the oppressor and the oppressee, uh, and it's used in terms of race these days. And, and it's, it's been spreading pretty rapidly. Uh, go, to a, go to a conference, you'll hear about it. Go to many seminaries, you'll hear about it. Go, to, uh, go, go buy a book in the church bookstore, probably. It's all over the place, and it's continuing to spread. And so they passed a resolution, and they said, I want to say this first before I read this part. They they said that it is submitted to Scripture. You know, it, these ideas must be submitted to Scripture. And you think, well, that sounds good, right? Just wait. Evangelical scholars who affirm the authority and sufficiency of Scripture have employed selective insights from critical race theory and intersectionality to understand multifaceted social dynamics. So I want you to... I want to break it apart. These people affirm affirm the authority of Scripture, they say. It says they affirm the sufficiency of Scripture, but yet that they receive selective insights from these anti-biblical ideologies. And I don't know about you, but does that make sense to you? It's like me saying, well, the teachings of uh, Islam, they must be in submission to Scripture, Okay, they must be in submission to Scripture, but I've received some selective insights there. And so I believe the Scripture is authoritative and Scripture is sufficient, but, you know, uh, there's some interesting stuff there that, that maybe could be helpful in living my Christian life. That doesn't make sense, right? Uh, well, another part of the resolution says this, Resolved, that critical race theory and intersectionality should only be employed as analytical tools 
subordinate to Scripture. Only be employed. Only be employed as analytical tools. Uh, so you see what's happening. They've cracked the door wide open for these Marxist, anti-biblical uh, t- teachings to spread throughout the church. They're going to spread throughout the SBC. And they're going to spread throughout other uh, denominations. And they already have. Trust me, they already have. But it's just, it, it just gives us some acceptability. So this is worldly wisdom. This is the kind of wisdom we need to move away from. This is the kind of wisdom we need to recognize when it's headed our way. 